are going to study how to generate the intermediate code, create the symbol table uh, for, uh, that happens during or that is the function of pass 1 and then how we uh, generate an equivalent target program given the intermediate code. That is we are going to see the functions of pass 1 and pass 2. Now I have taken a simple assembly program here. Uh, it is uh, it does not perform any specific function. It is just for the sake of understanding what should actually get into the intermediate code and how is the machine or the target program generated. Okay. Now when you encounter the first statement, okay, initially my location counter value according to the algorithm, the initial value of the location counter is set to zero. Okay. Now, when we encountered the statement start 100, start happens to be an assembler directive. Like I've mentioned previously, when you are encountering an assembler directive in your program, you do not have to write an equivalent intermediate code because we are associating the addresses with the intermediate code. When we associate the address with the intermediate code, it is not essential that for an assembler directive and a declaration statement like declare storage, we do not associate the intermediate code. So when we come here, there is absolutely no intermediate code generated for start 100. This basically specifies that the output program or the target program should begin at location 100. Okay. Now, but when this statement is encountered by the assembler, what it does is it basically sets the value of location counter to 100. Okay, in the intermediate code. Then we come to the next statement, read n. Okay, for better understanding, I would write it on the same line. So at this particular point of time, we write the location counter value as 100. This has come because uh, that statement start has the 100 value associated with it. So when we say read n, we have this happens to be the mnemonic opcode and it is represented by class and its associated instruction opcode. Okay, so this is an imperative statement. So the class happens to be known as is. Now if you consider read. Now read has the instruction opcode of 09. So we will write if we refer the mnemonic opcode table, we will see that the instruction opcode associated with read happens to be 09 and that is why we write is comma 09. Now the first operand for read is not present so we are going to represent it by 0. Now when you come across the second memory operand it happens to be a symbol n. Now if there is a symbol n first the entry of this particular symbol should be made into the symbol table. Now this symbol table contains an index value basically it is a pointer to the symbol it contains the name of the symbol, the address and length. Since we have encountered the symbol n in our assembly program, so we will enter it into the symbol table. So the index value is 1, that is we have encountered the first symbol in our program and we write what symbol we have encountered. However, we are unable to write the uh, uh, address and length of associated with this particular symbol because the symbol has been used but it has not yet been defined. Now we see that the index value of the symbol is 1 and with the help using this we are going to write the intermediate code for the second operand in that particular statement. So coming back here, so for n I am going to write the class as a symbol, okay, so it is represented by s and since n appears in the symbol table at position 1, I am going to write it as 0, 1. Now, going to the, after this, the location counter value will be incremented by the length of the instruction. Now, the length of this instruction is 1, so it will be incremented by 1 known as 101. Now, next happens to be a move m instruction, a mnemonic opcode. Now, it also is an imperative statement and its uh, instruction opcode hap uh, instruction opcode happens to be 5. So, we write is, 0, 5. Now this is the first operand, it is a pre-register. Like I mentioned, a single digit is used to represent the first operand. Since it is the B register, we are going to write 2. 
okay now for one now we have encountered another symbol in our program now this has not yet been defined but it has been used so what we have to do is again place it into the symbol table at the second position and we will write one we cannot write the address or the length associated because the symbol has been used but uh, it has not yet been defined now we will use this uh, information that it is at position 2 uh, in the intermediate code so when coming back to this one since it is a symbol and it is at location 2 in the symbol table I will write here as s comma 0 2 now coming over here if you look at this particular statement it has encountered a label okay according to the algorithm you have to enter this particular label into the uh, symbol table and write the associated location counter value now after the uh, intermediate code of this particular statement is generated the location counter will be incremented by the length of the instruction because it is an imperative statement so it becomes 102 okay so when it comes to processing of this particular statement what it does is it encounters a label when it encounters a label it has to enter that label into the symbol table so at 3 it is encountering ag and since it is a label we have to associate the location counter value which happens to be 102 and it occupies only one the length of this ag happens to be one okay now using and after doing that coming back to the statement for multiplication it is an imperative statement so multiplication has the code 03 so you will write is okay 03 okay and then brg means the second register so you will write 2 okay now n happens to be a symbol now when you encounter a symbol uh, you have to first enter it into the symbol table but before entering you need to check whether n already exists in our symbol table or not so when you look at this particular symbol table we see that n has already been placed in the symbol table all we have to do is take the associated index value so once you take that this particular intermediate code for n it happens to be a symbol and it is at location 1 is written now come again after this uh, before we process this the location counter value is incremented by the length of the instruction it becomes 103 now comp happen is standing for compare okay and it is an imperative statement with the instruction of code of 7 okay now b register again would mean the second register and n as you've seen in the symbol table n is a symbol whose index value is 1 that is it is at location 1 now come in, then after that the location counter value is incremented by the length of the instruction so the value becomes 104 now for bc it is an imperative statement and it happens to be at um, location uh, 6 sorry this happens to be the instruction of code happens to be 06 and for bc it happens to be 07 okay uh, for comp the uh, instruction of code associated with comp is 06 and for bc it is 07 so um, we will write bc as is 07 now less than equal to it is should be represented by a single digit number uh, like a, we've already we already know what is less than equal to if you consider all those strings like less than less than equal to equal to uh, equal to uh, greater than and greater than equal to and we have any okay now these are basically associated with branch on condition mnemonic opcode and they are given numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and now we are searching for less than equal to associated value is 2 so we will write here 2 and this happens to be a label okay now this happens to be a symbol so what we need to do is check whether the symbol has been entered into the symbol table